Welcome, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is Ghostmat Gaming with me, Christopher, and this is Fallout 76 Wastelanders. And is this it? Is this where Bethesda turns Fallout 76 into the game it should have been at launch? As many others, I played the game pretty much from the very beginning, and while I must admit that I had a good time with it, it had some very blatant faults. For me, the fact that the game never really got up to par on neither the single player nor the multiplayer were one of the bigger ones. The single player felt very hollow due to the lack of NPCs you could actually talk to. I don't see a problem that there were only robots, but we could at least have been able to have a conversation with them, like with so many other robots in previous Fallout games. As such, whenever we were faced with robots that actually talked, we stood around like ghosts, almost, in order to pro progress the story. We never felt part of the world, and nothing we did really mattered. As for the multiplayer part, it was lackluster at best. The map was allegedly larger than the previous Fallout games, but with online RPG standards, it's still pretty small. But the cap on players of about a max of 30 was still set far too low. Other measures could have been taken to make sure that uh, players were able to quest properly despite more players being around. Bethesda also quite effectively limited the ability of the players of actually playing together, by for example not allowing players to build camps near each other, something that went almost straight against the story of the game. But now Wastelanders is here, and the game has now moved leaps and bounds towards a more standard fallback game. Dialogue choices, humanoid NPCs, factions and much more. But will it be enough? And has it been done properly from the start? I think we need to take a look for ourselves. Now, I've played around a little with the game already, but I thought that we'd have a go at it with a new character. Meet Pants McGee, a real old silver fox and damn right down with the ladies. He is one charismatic beast. I mean, just look at that curl in his little mustache. He just screams, you know, trust me, I know I'm sexy and I'm not afraid to show it. We can ignore the receding hairline for now. Uh, that's just part of the part of growing old, you know. Uh, no one really knows how Pants got into the into Vault 76 because he lacks almost all useful skills. But rumor says that he probably slept with the Overseer before the Vault opened up before the war, and that's how we got in. Now, 24 years and some odd months later, the food supply of the Vault has run dry, and Pants Magee is forced out into the real world. Though he would rather keep spending time in the vault, and very much hope that the other vault citizens would have gotten back with more food by now, he realizes that that is not an option. It's time, it's time to see what the fuss is all about. Also, being a bit older, he doesn't really know how to operate a camera, and with no one around to help him, yeah. Looking good there, pants. Now as for the vault, much is the same. Uh, a change from the previous game is that now this is not the day after Reclamation Day. It's actually been a bit. A few months is what they're saying in game. Now it doesn't really specify if that is uh, two months or 12 months. You just say a couple of months. But uh, we'll talk to some of the robots on our way out. But first, let's get that little pip boy. Lovely, lovely. So, let's get on throughout the vault. Meet Crutchley. Now, this is the first robot that we encounter in the vault, and also the first NPC where we can experience the new dialogue system. Hello. Hello. At last. Today is your reclamation day. I bet you're just bursting your bolts to get out there and see the world. I sure am. So, yeah, now we actually have dialogue choices. That is beautiful. So, still no word from the Overseer? No, and we're not likely to get one. It's been months. Besides, she left this place behind to reclaim America. It's past time you followed her example. 
Yeah, yeah, that's a snide remark there. So yeah, as he says, it has been some months actually. I've just been chilling out in the vault, having the time of my life, but now there is no more food, so I need to get out. It is endearing to hear how wonderful a job myself and the others have done maintaining the vault for these many months. But the food's all run out, and it's time to take what you've learned and use it. The kiosks have valuable information to help you thrive out there. Best get cracking! It's getting a little pushy wait, by wait, for my wait, taste, wait, you know. For the one hundredth time. For the one hundredth time. Oh, poor Crestley. Yeah, I'll, I'll be, I'll be on my way. Don't worry. Aren't you as tired of that message as I am, sir? It's been playing every morning for months. Oh, poor guy Cavendish. You know, I didn't really mind. I liked hearing the Overseer over and over again. It hasn't driven me mad at all. So yes, picking up our first perk card here with that level up. And you know, Pansmaji, he is all about the charisma, which is what I will be leveling up on this character. Now I realized that I won't be playing that much multiplayer like with other people, and taking charisma is maybe a way to shoot myself in the foot a bit, since charisma is mainly about actually, you know, playing with other people. But there are some useful perks in here, at least in the beginning, that we can take that won't, you know, cripple our character all that much. And there's also a few things that we can do with Charisma in the beginning of the game that we will show off. So, we're going for Charisma. And we apparently only got Inspirational, which is not that good, because again, we are not in a group. Oh well, let's just t take that one. That's perfectly fine. Just jam that in. That's okay, whatever. A little bit unlucky there, but we'll get more as time moves on. So it is time for us to head out of the vault and into the grand old world. Let's see what we can find and if the Overseer is out there and uh, basically what will happen. What's new, what's old and yeah. Interesting right? Let's step into the light. And we are out. Reclamation day, quest completed, and you know, the world looks sort of the same. We got the new quest, Wayward Souls. We are supposed to uh, discover the fate of Appalachia and its people. So right now we could go east. I can actually do this, just pick up a little bit, bits and pieces from this little guy here. Just a pipe pistol, some money. I'm just gonna go inside here and just get that going, get that as a favorite, that's fine. And hello, little power armor. That's very pretty. You're cute. But we're not gonna bother with the robots to the right, we are going to go down and talk to Pennington, who now has a few new things to say, say us. They haven't yet made any untoward advances, but perhaps you could speak to them? Verify their intentions are civil? Are that alive people, Pennington? That is remarkable. So, do you have an idea of why they're up here? Only that they appear to have some vested interest in accessing the vault. One seemed quite perturbed when I told them that wouldn't be happening. But I'm not sure if she believed me. Well, well, I mean, I just got out of there. They, if they had just been up there, they could have gotten in quite easily. So that's too bad for them, I guess. So what's been going on, on out here, Pennington? Until quite recently, it's been exceedingly peaceful. I maintained my post, greeted latecomers out of the vault, and otherwise reveled in Appalachia's natural splendor. But very recently, it seems people have come back to Appalachia. Those two and more to boot. The non-vault sort, you understand. It's all very concerning. 
Who knows what they might be up to? So yeah, that is basically the story here of Wastelanders. It's been a few months since uh, the vault opened, but now there's people moving into Appalachia. And I don't really know what I think of that. Because here's the thing. You could have just gone with the route of, you know, people in Appalachia actually being alive. There's so many characters that were introduced into the game. You know, from the very beginning, people that left all the uh, the holotapes behind. I mean, couldn't you just have used those characters? I don't really see why they had to bring out outsiders and do that as a sort of story. But, I mean, sure, we do get live, em live NPCs now, so I'm not going to complain about that. It just seems a little bit strange that they didn't just work with what they already had. But... Whatever. So, did you see anything about the Overseer? Well, yes, but it's been some time. But she was a resourceful woman. I, I'm, I'm sure she's all right. Yeah, I think so, too. So do you think that those two down there, are they up to something? I've been keeping watch here long enough to have learned that outside the vault, people don't always have one's best intentions at heart. I'm sorry to say it. But it's the truth. Oh, poor Pennington. You're a good egg. So, it's time for me to move out. Oh, do be careful out there, sir. I will, Pennington. Goodbye. So let's get down and talk to Lazy. Maybe... Wait, a vault dweller? Yeah. Hey, there. hey. what's up? Whoa, just a friend here, not a threat. Just had some questions for you. You came out of the vault, right? I thought it was empty. Wait, is the door still open? I'm really sorry, that door is sealed tight and I was the last one out, so... You're out of luck for that. God damn it. We got a tip from the Wayward. Heard of the place? New bar down the road. So this guy told us that... After you gave him the last of our caps... And he said that inside that vault is the, you know, that's where the big one is. Our last chance to turn our lousy luck around. The big one, you say? So what's that about? You know, the thing that brought everyone back. The treasure. So you say there's a treasure out here? Well, yeah. There was this big broadcast. But shouldn't you know it was in there? Told you, Lacey. The guy was scamming us. But those were the last of our caps. No. Someone has to know something. We're just gonna stick it out until we find them. Wonderful. Thanks for answering some questions for us, I suppose. Seems only fair I return the favor. Anything we can answer for you? So... This is the new stuff that we can do. So with the charisma of more than one, so two plus, I can basically say that, you know, you probably brought a spare weapon up here. You might actually be able to share some with me. Oh, now that you mention it, I guess I could spare these. Here. Oh yeah, you know, Pants, he gets the job done with the ladies. So is there anything else you can tell me about this treasure? Happy to tell you what I know, which isn't much. Someone made a broadcast not too long back about there being some kind of treasure buried in Appalachia. We don't know what, we don't know where. But with people as desperate as they are, it's meant everyone with a functioning radio has come back to try and see if they can get a piece of it. Monsters or no? Guy we met at the Wayward. Carter, I think was his name. He gave us a couple of leads to chase down in exchange for all our money. Up to us now to make something of them. I mean, that must have been a hell of a broadcast to get so much people coming. A little bit weird that you would broadcast out that there's a treasure in, unless, you know, you wanted it for yourself. That's kind of strange, but, uh, yeah. Did you by any chance see an overseer coming out here? Hmm. If your overseer crossed our path, she sure wasn't broadcasting it. Sorry. You might ask at the wayward. 
Seems like they set themselves up to be a natural stopping point. Sounds good. Thank you for that. I probably will be heading out right now. Watch yourself out there. So exactly what was it that we got out from that? We got ourselves another pipe pistol. Much worse than the one we got, but we do, did get some ammo, I believe, from that. And also a machete, which, which we can favorite, so that we have a melee weapon. But you know, with that, I believe it is time to head out to the Wayward. So we are coming up on to the Wayward. They have a nice little plantation out here. You know what? Corn. I like corn. You can make starch with corn. I mean, starch? You can make weapons so the store here we are going here but at the same time we do still have the overseer uh, tapes that were in the game from the very beginning so that is still going on actually so here's the overseer camp uh, we get ourselves a little metal bed with bits and pieces we get a toolbox full of base stuff that we can start making stuff from some red meat combat knife Overseer's cache, but no more Overseer logs. So what is that about? I guess we have to go to the Wayward to check in that out. So one of the things, of course, that the uh, that Bethesda has done now, because it is still a multiplayer game, and with the different uh, stories that we're going to take uh, part of, they needed somehow to make that accessible to people in such a way that other people wouldn't ruin everything. So what we see here is a very much boarded up building. There are no open windows at all. And that means that this is actually an instance. So all indoor areas right now are instance, which means that if you go into them, no one else can go into them at the same time as you, which in the end means that any quest progress that happens inside here is happening only to you. And if you're a group, it will always be the group leader's progress that is advancing. So if you are in a different stage of a quest as a group leader that you have joined up with, your quest won't be uh, moved forward at all. It will only be the group leader's. So this is the wayward. We have ourselves a little pen here with some ramen and of course our lovely, lovely little Bessie who is delightfully painted in what can only be described as, you know, cow colors. And apparently this little robot here isn't all that well. But it can talk to us, you know, sort of. That is just, yeah, I love that. Comforting moo indeed. But let's head into the Wayward and see what is going on in here. Lady, I will paint the walls with you if you don't tell me where Crane's treasure is right now! Sweetheart, I think you must be sick. Because point a gun at me in my own bar is a terminal affliction. Look around. You think I'm having my people piece this place together out of mobile homes because I'm thrifty? Do I look like I know where this treasure is? Shut up! You got ten seconds to tell me where Crane is. Ten. Whoa, 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 better. Let's I'm let's talk, you and me. The wrong time to get a drink. What are you? Hey, who the hell are you? I'm Pants McGee. Who are you? You know what? With a charisma plus two, we can just tell him to you know put the put the gun down, friend. You you mean you're outnumbered? So let's just have a civil talk here. Outnumbered? I. Shit. Fine. Don't think this is the end. Only for you, honey. No one pulls a gun on me in my bar. Mark, maybe you've heard me get out here. Before. Yeah, what, Duchess? I'm Jesus! You let one of those monsters in here? Hey, you want to see if there's a tomorrow? Then I want you to tell me where you and the rest of your numbskull crew are. I know that so many of you out there have had what the? difficult lives, Mort. too. Mort. What was that? Some you called me a monster. I was. You well, kill okay, us. fine. You know, we could have asked him some questions. Oh, you know what? It's safer this way anyway. I suppose. It's great to see actual people in Fallout again. Sure thing, Duchess. Let me just... Nope, did not have anything on you despite you having a gun. 
I'm just gonna turn this on because this is really distracting. So, meet Duchess. She is the proprietor of the Wayward. She's the one that's gonna key, kick this off for us. Huh. Well, not exactly the introduction to the Wayward I would have hoped for. Oh, sorry about that, darling. First round's on me. Name's Duchess. There's something I could do for you. Just got ourselves some Duchess's dram there. That's nice. So, what was that about? Something about a treasure? Your guess is as good as mine, sweetheart. He busted in here saying I needed to turn over the location of some fellow named Crane, who I guess I must have served at some point or another. Since then, a steady stream of miscreants has been making my life irritating. Not exactly good for a budding business. Sure thing, so... I'm looking for Overseer. Maybe you've seen her? Overseer, huh? So you must be the one. No, I haven't seen her, but I have heard her. My people found a tape she left behind for one of her dwellers at that camp across the way, though. It is a bit out of date now. Maybe you're the one she left it for. I'm happy to hand it over. Though, now that we've drifted naturally onto the topic of helping one another, maybe there's something you could do for me in return. And if I help you, you'll get me to Overseer's tape, I guess. But what do you want me to do? Just agreeing to lend us a hand in a little diplomatic intervention. See? That boy we put down? He's not the first of his crew to roll in here. But I want him to be the last. Normally, I'd send my people out to clean house. But my muscles run off, so I don't have the bodies to spare right now. But I'm willing to pay good money if you put an end to this for me. So, what do you say? Yeah, that, that sounds like a plan, but you will give me the overseas, Overseer's tape if I help you out? Sure will. Throw some capture weight, too. Well, isn't that lovely? So what's the plan? Only seems fair. The details, then. Now, each of these boys came in asking after Crane. I'm thinking we can make that work for us. How would you grab the attention of a bunch of single-minded thugs? So there's also a thing that can happen. So if you do have a really low charisma of, say, one or lower, I can say something about male limitations. Now, there is nothing about charisma plus two, sadly. So you have to go for something of the other. So, you know, sounds per stake. I always like that. Not sure I've got enough on hand, unfortunately. No. We're going to draw them in by making them think you're Crane. Just give me one second. Aha. Uh -huh. Clever plan. Huh. Not half bad. So what I've chicken scratched together here for you is the schematic for one custom-made Crane Treasure Hunting Inc. sign. If I didn't butcher the plans too bad, it's got a little system built in that'll make sending out an advertisement and getting this gang's attention a snap. You just need to build it, use the tape it spits out to tell the world you're open for business, and then convince any punks that show up to tell you where their boss is hiding. They did teach you all how to build from schematics up in that vault of yours, didn't they? They sure did. That's the spirit. Hey, if you need a refresher, good old Morty Mort can help you out. What are you on about, Mordecai? Hey, nah, I'm not bragging or anything. But I've got some tapes that cover that very subject. Oh, Mort, not the tapes. Well, you find yourself wanting a refresher? Talk to Mort. Now, you ready to get this show on the road? Sure thing, and with a charisma plus two, I can uh, say that you kind of want need to pay me a little bit more than what we agreed on. Well, I don't even know that we have agreed on anything, but uh, pay me more is basically the bottom line here. It is a lot to ask. Fine. I could do 75, but that's as high as I'll go. That means you're up to the task? For 75 caps, you betcha. Let's do this. Hot dog. Be good to have those dolts off our back at long last. Just make sure once you find out where they're hiding, that their leader gets the message. The wayward 
gets left alone. And here, that overseer tape. Sounds like she set up that camp across the way so her people could get some practice in... self-reliance. Probably worth looking into if you think you could use a refresher. I'm actually just gonna try and pick this place clean as much as possible. And upstairs there is actually this little door here that requires a key. The Wayward Upstairs Room Key. Now that is not something that you can really get a hold of because despite there being uh, humans in this game, there is really no um, pickpocketing. So I really haven't seen the key either, but that's fine. We are going to be seeing more of that later. The safe here requires skill 2, uh, what we don't have really. So. Uh, that's not going to help us out that much. And we are out again, so let's just uh, head up to our little camp up here. Let's go on and level up, and again, we are going down Charisma route. So now we get a uh, new card, which is the Happy Camper. Again, not what I wanted really, but... I can't really do much about that. We absolutely don't want to level up this because we're not going to be playing with anyone. So let's just go for Happy Camper. I'll take that. Sure. And we're just going to slap that on as well. So lovely. And with that, we can probably do this. This is my stash box. So let's just... No, actually, no, let's not uh, do that. We need to place our camp. We're going to move right up here. Yes, I kind of like this position on this little truck here. This doesn't seem to be anyone else here, so let's just place it down right on there. And let's also check these for some lovely little things. We need to go into notes and learn the crane treasure hunting sign. We also have the healing salt forest recipe. That's lovely. Now we can go into this and we can do our uh, little quest here. So we need to build this giant thing. Crane Treasure Hunting Inc. We're just gonna build it. I think this will be fine, I think. Let's just build it right back here. Let's also build a little generator just next to it, like so. Let's hook that up. Make it nice and bright. With that done, we now t need to put on a broadcast for people to actually come here, you know? So for that, we will be going up to the broadcast tower over here. So let's uh, let's just head out there. And we're up here at the broadcast tower. Also been listening to the uh, holotape for, uh, from the Overseer about the camp. And it sort of makes sense in a way that Bethesda wanted to change up the story a bit because they can just keep all of those tapes because in those tapes there's talk about no no human sorry no, no alive people so which obviously were, was true when the overseer got out of the vault and uh, yeah they don't have to change anything with that but still i'm not con i'm not convinced about the story here so the story right now here is that we have a little bit of scorch versus feral ghouls which seems to be uh, going s mediocre for both of them. So just gonna put a few bullets in your head. I'm gonna put it. I need to reload pretty soon. Yes, die, please. Reload. Take you out. You can't hide from me. Not even behind there. And you're done. I probably need to use the steam pack also. Let's do that. Get myself some health back, just pick up everything from these. Oh, military ammo bag. That is lovely. Let's just take that army helmet as well. See if there's anything in here. Get a rat away. IV bag is probably good for something. A grenade, always nice. Let's check out that from ghoul. Nothing on you. Let's check out the scorched up here. Nothing on you. So we have found the broadcast tower. Let's quickly check through here if there's anything interesting at all. There's little bits and pieces. Got some boiled water. That's nice. Let's just check through this aluminum can. Awesome. 
gas mask could probably be a good thing, actually. Yeah. For whenever the bombs fall, we can probably be a little bit safer, I guess. Let's just pick up everything here. Now, I don't know exactly how much we will be playing on this character, but if we do, I could, I mean, just make myself at least a little bit of a head start here. So, let's go into the terminal and load up that holotape. Broadcast tape, shove that in. Activate the transmitter, get that going. And let's head back to our cap and see what happens. So we're back and immediately we have ourselves a treasure hunter looking for Crane. Just like we planned. You're not Crane. The hell's going on here? Apparently he knows how Crane is. So let's see here. So where is your gang? That's not that that's not the uh, pants way of doing that. So do you know Crane? Or anything about the treasure? Crane found the treasure. Holy where is he? Well, I was hoping that you could tell me. So, he was part of the bar down the road. Maybe you can check out there. Wayward, huh? It might be I paid the place a visit. Appreciate the tip, not Crane. Good luck out here. Not Crane, that's great. Okay, so you were not who I wanted to talk to. While we wait, no, I actually can't scrap anything here. So while we wait, well, up there, do we have, well, we have ourselves some free radicals. Now, free radicals is one of the factions that you can encounter in this game. There are actually seems to be quite a bunch of them. I haven't met many at all, actually, but uh, there's supposed to be quite a lot of them. And they're all, not all bad, even though they might be a little, you know, rough around the edges. So let's talk to you. You crane? This it? Thought you were some kind of big shot. So, rumor is you got information our boss wants. You tell me where this treasure is, and he's willing to leave you alone. Scout's honor. I mean, you don't look nearly as trustworthy as I do. So yeah. With uh, strength plus two and luck plus two, we could have uh, gotten some uh, store f some information out of him. Or, you know, how about we trade? I tell you where the treasure is, and you tell me where your gang is camped. Where we're camped? <laughs> okay. It's... No. Why don't you go first? Ah, almost had him. But with a charisma check of plus two, I can just tell him we've all been lied to. There's no treasure here, it's in D.C. Clearly. D.C.? You sure? Son of a bitch. Bosses are gonna be happy about that. Our camp's at West Virginia Lumber. Now we just gotta figure out how to break it to them and not end up with our heads on spikes. See? We could, uh, we could solve that without, you know, bloodshed. We're gonna sell some purified water, some Salisbury steak, that's nice. For some reason you are running towards the wayward. Are you going there? No, you're not going there. You're going somewhere else. So let's just get up here and let's just scrap again some of our stuff so that we don't have all that too much of it going. Let's just do that. Let's move here now because we don't need all of our junk. So let's just put that in there. Actually, we can probably scrap some weaponry as well, I believe. Yeah, we have a number of pipe pistols. Anyone better than what we have? We have a pretty good one, so let's just scrap that one, that one, that one. We can probably scrap that. We don't need that anymore. We just made that for ourselves. And I didn't even uh, equip my newly created little uh, chest piece there. That was probably not a good idea. We can also take the army helmet. That's a little bit better than a party hat. So I, I guess a little bit, at least, you know. We're back at Duchess. Let's well, talk to her. Two worse for wear. You managed to figure out where those miscreants are hiding. I sure did. So, West Virginia Lumber Company. Fantastic. So that's where their boss will be. You just need to... Wait, West Virginia Lumber? 
<laughs> that is not right. You misheard them for sure. And that's of concern. Why exactly? Was wandering up that way not too far back. The lumber company? That place was overrun with a bunch of those big green bastards. Mutants. You've seen those Frankensteins. If this gang was able to clean those things out of the mill, that just, these guys might be tougher than advertised. Hmm. You got any recommendations on how you'd proceed? Well, I wouldn't go in guns blazing, unless you got some big guns. Could try and luck your way inside, maybe see if they want to talk to you. But there was this family I ran into up that way that I'm sure has had to deal with them already. There was also this, uh, let's say, special scrapper who was making some pretty bold claims about his knowledge of the mill. Wouldn't be a bad idea to check in with either of them. You'll Tell me about the family. The farm if these thugs haven't already run them off. Could be a good if way, uh, a good thing to know where they're actually at, you know? Probably managed to work something out with them. Hey, it couldn't hurt to find out what it was. What about the scrapper? Him living in the stalls at Tyler County Fairground. Guy kept claiming he knew the best way to run the mutants out of the mill. But, listen, I couldn't get him this bill, Hal. Probably have a better chance he'll share what he learned with someone who still has an entire face. Yeah, thanks for that. I've got everything I need. Because that's all I've got. If you haven't already explored up that way, the fastest route back would be via Vault 76 and trekking north from there. And take care of yourself, all right? You're doing us a big one here. Cheers, guys. I'm off to talk to some people. First up is Anchor Farm. It's a lovely little place here. A bunch of settlers. A bunch of Brahmin. This nifty little place. I'm playing here. That's pretty nice. And also, you know, you've got the taters. I want taters. Give me your taters. So we are stepping up on me being able to make that lovely storage. Sorry, guy. I'm just gonna take everything that you worked so hard for. Anything we can talk to you guys about? Excuse me, I'm kind of busy. I guess not. So, yep, our guy is up there on the second floor. So let's just nip in and see what he has to say. Yeah, there's. Um, Still no stealing in this game, so you can just basically pick them clean. Which, of course, is what I'm going to do. All of your stuff belongs to me. No one cares at all. It's kind of strange, but, uh, you know, I don't mind. If you don't mind, so guns away and let's talk to Daniel. Plenty of unclaimed space up the road. Maybe you should give it a visit. Yeah, just let me talk to the, your back, that's, you know, fine. So, have you th heard anything about the gang up at uh, West Virginia Lumber? West Virginia Lum No. Don't know anything about them. Now, I'd like you to leave. Oh, I think you know something. Uh, with a charisma of plus a three, you know, we're all friends. Just tell me what you know, and I'll get out of your hair. Yo, go. Fine. We worked out a deal. Supplies for protection. What do you need to know to leave? I mean, just tell me about the deal that you worked out. Once a month, food, ammo, scrap. Murray and me take it up to the mill ourselves. Gave us a password to get in. Blue Danube. There we go. We got the pass password to get in. So, you know anything about how many there are? Plenty. A dozen, minimum. They don't let us in the main building, so I can't say how many were camped out in there. So that feels like a little bit too much for little Pants McGee here to take on by himself, so we're probably gonna be, have to be uh, sort of friendly to these guys. So, you know where they came from? Bunch of cons from back east. They're not crazy though. Not like the Blood Eagles or the Scorch, say. You can reason with them. They don't know how to farm or hunt. We do. So we worked out a deal. You have something you can offer them, you probably can too. So a little hint there about another one of the factions, the Blood Eagles. Now they are usually, uh, you know, hostile on site, so really not sure if you can do anything with them. But 
with that, no other questions right now. Thank you, Daniel. Then by all means, beat it. Unless there's something else. Nah, I'm just, I'm good actually. Or, you know, have you heard anything about the treasure? Treasure? Nothing but trouble. We'd hope to start new lives here. Private ones. So much for that. You know what? Point taking. I'm leaving. Bye. And now he turns to face me. You bastard. Okay, so with that done, it is time to head up to the uh, carnival place. So next up is the Tyler County Fairgrounds and the sort of weird scrapper guy that was supposed to be here. And of course this place is crawling with Scorched. So we're gonna have to do a little bit of killing I believe. Let's see if we can sort of... Yeah, we have one over here. Let's just try and take you out. Well, that did not work at all. Oh, I heard something over here. There's, they are everywhere. I actually, I'm not even in danger. That's nice. You don't seem to see me. Let's see if I can just sneak up on this one. Let's see if I can take you out. Where did you go? You guys are over there. That's fine. I'm just going to move here. Don't mind me. Just make him away. Don't mind me. Pants Meiji, he doesn't want to fight. Doesn't want to fight if he can avoid it. So we have a little guy. He's hold up. Up here. Let's see if we can. Oh, you will. You will go up. Let's just put a few bullets in you. And I'm in caution. That's lovely. Oh, we have a level up. Well, you saw me. You absolutely saw me. Just go away. We have another one. You are coming through here. Oh, they're all coming now, aren't they? Yep, you're all coming. Those shots did not connect the side one with them too. Come on. There we go. You are a little bit worse. You have a gun. Place bullets in you, not to the side of you, please. Rest your head. Gone. Beautiful, if a little bit sloppy. Where did you go? I don't see you. Let's actually move up here. You can get a little eye point here. We're over there. Yeah, I see you there. Let's put a few bullets in your head, please. And you're dead. Are we good? Yeah, we're good. So let's talk to Leibovitz. Rob me, but jokes on you. Don't get nothing. I mean, you've literally got a did a buttercup over here. That's worth ridiculous amounts of scrap. So you were bragging about being able to run everyone out of West Virginia lumber. So exactly how? Ah, uh, you talked to the well done guy, huh? Now, yeah, I got a little trick up my sleeve. Could kill them all if I wanted, but I'm not just giving it away. You gotta get me something. So with a strength of a plus eight, I could basically just make him hand it over to me. This is something that kind of bugs me, because if a new player like me does what I do and basically run this uh, quest as fast as possible, there's no way that I could be strength eight plus. So I don't really know how Bethesda thought or what they thought when they were doing this, because uh, no one's going to be able to get this. Sure, uh, you know, players that have been playing for a long time and are now getting back into the game, they might absolutely have more than 8 strength, but uh, no new players will have that. That's kind of strange, and I don't really like that. So, what do you want? Island nearby's got a big nest in it. You bring me an egg? I'll give you what I got. And what am I stealing this egg from? Something nasty enough that I don't want to do it. Up to you, though. So, what will I get from that? Government issued astral transporter. Snagged it on my way out of the lab. Takes your physical form and drops it right into the astral plane. Makes you nearly invisible. Makes it a whole lot easier to take folks out of this world at the same time. 
It's a very convoluted way of talking about a stealth boy. So why don't you grab the egg by yourself? Makes you invisible, not agile. I can't run so good since I escaped from the government. I bet you can. Well, sure thing. You know, I'll head out, see if I uh, picked it up for you. For those of you who've actually played this game before, we know what kind of island he's talking about. And we know that it's not an island that we probably want to visit. You know, I mean, I can probably do without a stealth boy at this point. But you know, we might check that out at some other time. But for now, we are going to go right up at to West Virginia Lumber Company. So we're coming up at the West Virginia Lumber Company. And this is all board up. A free radical outside. You want to tell me something? Whoa, whoa. You checked in yet? No one's allowed in that boss to say so. Use the intercom. Fine. Intercom it is. Yeah. So I want to talk to your boss. Uh, yeah? What's the password? My good sir, it is Blue Danube. Go on through. Sure, Sky. Does it open automatically? Or do I have to open it myself? I have to open it myself, that's fine. Also, we have that uh, level up. And with a pack card, let's hope that we can actually get some good uh, perks for my uh, charisma here. Not good, not good. Better, but uh, level 7, not something that we will be able to use. But at least we got a few uh, stuff that we can put in, and now we get to the good stuff. Lone Wanderer. Absolutely, we will be taking that one. Let's accept that one and slap that in immediately. We can also use do Dromedary in order to. Uh, Quench a thirst additionally. That's pretty good, actually. Not too bad. Let's slap that alone wanderer in. We cannot use moving target or hard bargain as of now. So let's get moving on. We are up to Charisma 4. Let's see if that actually helps us out. So we're in here in this little place. They've got a nice thing going here. A nice pool table. A lot of good stuff to pick up. Remember, no stealing here at all. So yes, let's. I'm not going to pick up everything. Let's pick up the things that I sort of vaguely remember to be at least, you know, a little bit good. Seems to be down here. No one's heard from Batter. We need all Suspect he finally managed to get himself killed. <laughs> Batter was a long shot anyway. Always figured it'd take someone coloring with a full box of crayons to find us our prize. Yeah, here we have Roper, apparently the gang leader. And Jackie... Apparently the muscle. You have a few things here. A nice mine. We'll never turn down a mine. Some more cigarettes. I'll take that. Potato crisps. A little bit of food. A fridge with some beer. I'm not going to bother with that. Some ammo and ooh, ice. A shotgun. And some shotgun shells as well. And some more ammo. That is just beautiful. I'll have everything off you actually. You don't mind at all. Duct tape. We'll pick that up. I'm not gonna play it right now. We can play that later. Some loose gears, some loose screws. A lot of good stuff here. So what's the smell? Notice for reminder, either something died or someone was buried down here when they were digging this area out. Get Jackie to bring a dog and sniff it out. Can't stand stench too much longer, about to hurl. I wonder what that could be. Hmm. Well, Jackie is here, no dog is here. Could that dog have found something? I don't know. Still, we're gonna talk to Roper. You the one with the password? I presume someone gave it to you because they thought you could be useful. Name's Roper. Now, explain to me why the hell you're taking up my hair. You're not that nice. So, 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 so. I want you to lead the wayward loan. Straight up to the point? Well, no, let's play it a little bit cool. Who are you guys? Just a little band of friends. 
working together for the common good. Our common good. We call ourselves the Free Radicals, because that's what we are, free. Now, you have any other time wasters you wanted to throw at me? You know what? I want you to leave the wayward alone. Is that so? And why exactly would I do that? You know, because I'm Crane and I know where the treasure is. Sure you are. But if you know where your treasure is, well, then I'm all ears. You see, we can probably uh, we can probably come to an agreement here. So again, I'm not up to Christmas eight. I could have lied and again run with the story of DC, but he's not that uh, simple-minded as the other thug that came talking to us. So he's not gonna buy that for anything less than that charisma. So uh, you know, I actually don't know where it is, but I'll find it for you. Damn right you will. But I'm a generous man. You bring me the location first, you'll get your fair share. Now get out. So yeah, so now we have actually have an option. So with that, it is time to get back to Duchess. And we're back at the Wayward. Let's chat up with Duchess. You're back. You managed to get those punks out of our hair yet? Not really, but you know, I gotta deal with them, but we do need to know where this treasure is. Oh, is that all? <laughs> I guess I should have specified how I would have liked this to be resolved. I suppose it's on both our heads to find this treasure then. But you did good. Shows maybe you could be trusted. Maybe. But there's still the issue of my missing muscle. They went out chasing some unsavory characters. Never came back. They're two of the tougher cookies I've met in my day. So them being gone this long means something happened. You track them down? Maybe I remember a thing or two about this crane fella. Yeah, sure, I'll find your people. Music to my ears. Missing person number one's named Polly. Got a transmitter in her. You could track her with your little radio there. Missing person number two goes by Saul. Those two are closer than toes and bad stilettos. So if you find one, the other's likely close by. Find them for me, and I'll pay you for the privilege of getting to yell at them in person. Kind of weird that one of them would have a transmitter, but uh, fine. So yeah, uh, what are you paying me for that? Hundred caps with your name on them sound about right. You know what? Do you 150 caps like them? Huh, you're not wrong. Okay, it's a deal. So you'll find them for me? You know what? Sure thing. I'll help, I'll help you find them. Appreciate it. Polly's tracking frequency is 99.7. The once proud home of Appalachia's smooth jazz. I figured someone should get some use out of it. Find out what happened to him. If I need to find new people, I'd like to at least ensure I tried to do right by the old ones. I mean, got some extra caps and hunt for hire completed. With that, let's uh, head out and start listening in on that transmission. See where they are. So we're out with the radio on. And let's see where that means. Well, actually, it's... Is this that? Yeah. Use the signal to find Duchess's guards. And we are here. So, seems to have been a bit of a fight here. Or something like that. Just a big pile of Scorched. With a Ugali Mine production log. To read up on that. Just little tidbits of the Ugali Mine. And also Mine production log. Is that the same? Yeah, that was just the same actually. So, that is probably our little hint. Yeah, search call in mind for Duchess's guards. Anything on you guys? Nope, nothing. So, mine is community close. And we're in the golly mine. Let's try and see if we can find a little bit of stuff here that we can pick up. 
other than that yeah it's going to be a lot of scorched isn't it that's fine oh. i'm just gonna leave all these this stuff behind let's get a move on here you can actually just uh, go down thank you and also go down thank you you're not you are an actual corpse perfect Oh, and I am overcovered, so let's check that in. I don't want that view. Get away. Could probably remove some of these, to be honest. Like that one, and that one, and that one. That's perfect. So, we're a little bit better. Oh, I heard you. Just pop you out of the way. That's nothing I can do anything with. We're looking sort of good on ammo. I probably would have wanted a little bit more we got a little bit more of that oh, i don't know why i picked up even more even more guns here so pipe revolver i can probably remove you two and you two is that better than mine it is absolutely better than mine let's drop you yes i want to drop that one i'm going to favorite that one i think that this is a little bit better i can probably drop you as well oh that is exactly the wrong button I'm gonna press R. That's better. We do have a that one. I kind of want to get that in as well. We don't need both combat knife nice and machete. I don't know why you did that. Let's do it like this. That feels better. You can actually go away. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, one over here. I haven't seen me. I think. You're running around like an idiot. Can you just stand still for a moment? It's gonna be really annoying and move about. Some more ammo, perfect. Like seeing that. Where did you run off to? Oh, you are dead. Good. So what was that? Mine coal, okay, so that's I think that's new. I don't know if I saw that before, but... Okay, so apparently you can mine coal now. We're not going to do that at all. So let's just ignore all of that. Yes. You are definitely not dead. You are now... Okay, so you are a little bit closer than I was expecting. So let's just use vats for the first time. I don't really use vats a whole lot. At all. Uh... However, I will say, and this is probably not something that a lot of people will agree with me on, but I kind of like the best system in uh, Fallout 76 as opposed to the uh, best system of earlier games. Because, you know, in Fallout 1 and 2, the best system didn't exist. We had something called... Uh, we had something called just, you know, aimed shots. So when they transferred that to Fallout 3, they kind of wanted something similar, so they introduced VATS. A system that completely froze time and felt kind of strange in a way. But in Fallout 4, they uh, sort of made it even weirder with a time, sl you know, slowing down of time, which made it kind of strange, kind of a lot more strange actually than in Fallout 3. So with this, when it's a online game and they obviously can't pause time for a player, now it's live, which to me sort of makes it a little bit better because it's it, it means that you're still, you know, counting on the player's actual skill in how they actually uh, uh, use that system, uh, how fast they are at switching uh, body parts, for example. Right now, I can't target body parts; I only have the entire body so right now it's not difficult at all but if I if I would have gotten the perk that lets me uh, target limbs uh, that would have you know put it down to my skill to uh, actually target those limbs uh, in mid fight I like that system more and I know that that's really not a popular opinion but uh, you know what that, that's what I like so 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 this is Sol so where's uh, Polly then? Hey, 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 hey! Tell me you got a stim pack. I'm hurting here. 
Yeah, sure, you can get a stim pack from me. Oh, thank God. Thank you. Good to know there's still some heart out there. So, uh, you the cavalry then? Duchess send you to save our tails? Thank you, I did not want to have that conversation with your crotch. Thank you, Saul. Much obliged. Uh, so yeah, if you're a soul, absolutely. Much as I appreciate it. I'm not the one who needs helping right now. See, these uh, scorched things have been herring the bar. Me and my bot says Polly got the bright idea to track down their nest and clear them out. But a couple of them got the drop on us before Polly chased them off deeper into the mine. I heard some fighting, but then uh, nothing. I think she's hurt. Look, you've got to find Polly. I can't be the reason she... Look, just find her. Please. Jesus Christ, dude. Yes, yeah, sure, sure. I'll, I'll find her. But, you know, still. All the, uh, however nice I am, you are going to pay me. Cold one, aren't you? I'm sure Duchess is good for it. Now you ought to get going. And please, tell Polly... Tell her I'm sorry I couldn't be the one to save her. I mean, I got your stim pack. I'm, you know, helping you get out of here. I'm gonna help you get Polly back. I'm not cold for wanting uh, to be paid for that. God damn it, Sol. So, let's uh, continue killing some uh, Scorch by actually hitting them and not firing next to them. Much better plan. A little bit more ammo. Gotta love that. I see you over there. You are dead. And you are coming to investigate or just straight running towards me. That's beautiful. So reload. And I totally missed. Use bats. One more time. Boom. Okay. Thought it was alive for a moment there. So, uh, level up again. Let's uh, do that immediately. And, uh, yep, yeah, fine. We can out PvP if we want to. More charisma. All of the charisma. So, right now, we're gonna go down the lone wanderer path here. We absolutely want uh, less damage, more AP. Good, 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 good. Upgrade that. Put it in. Beautiful. We apparently also have a. Uh, Another one for Agility, so what perk card could that be? We just got, we got ourselves moving target, All right? That was the one that we had before. So yeah, sure, I'm spinning a bit, you know, away from people or enemies, so... It could probably be a little bit of a good idea to have that. I cannot open that, so that's fine. So we are going down, down, down. Oh, there's more Scorched. I saw you down there. I saw all of that lovely ammo lying around as well. So I'm, now I lost you. Where are you? Well, you lost me, or rather, I was lost. Yeah, there you are. Well, I shot you. Now you see me. Oh, that was such a bad hit. Or attempt at hit. Come on, where do you go? There you are. There we go. Down you go. A little more ammo, and we need to drink again. So let's uh, take up some of that purified water. Let's just go up a bit. Do you have any... yeah, some Salisbury steaks. Those are just dandy. So how do we get to you? Could it be down here, perhaps? Yeah. Just follow the glowing mushrooms. Down and down and down we go. We're probably not out of the woods with the Scorch just yet. So be wary of more Scorch as we make our way into this sort of open area. Hey! Hey! What is this? There? I can use a lift! Polly is an Assaultron. Or rather, uh, an Assaultron head. I guess this is sort of the bits and pieces that's left over. Yeah, hey Polly. You are a sight for sore eye. So, those things didn't get you, huh? You happen to see a young man on your way through? Early 20s? 
rough around the edges, carrying about a bullet's worth of extra lead in him. I sure did, and he is uh, hobbling his way to safety. He's alive? Thank God, that's good to hear. So, what do you say you and I help each other out? You get me back to the wayward, and I'll help you bake to a crisp anything that bothers us on our way out the door. You know what? That sounds pretty good to me, but what do you mean bake to a crisp? Never met an Assaultron before, huh? Probably for the best. That flashy red pearl in the middle of my face doesn't just complement my scintillating personality. It also happens to fire a multi-gigawatt laser. You pick me up and give my neck servos a twirl, I'll kick off a blast that would make Oppenheimer quote scripture. So, we blowing this gin joint? Gotta say I do love the writing. It's really lovely to have that back. Just great. So yeah, you got a deal. That's the ticket. Now let's... You hear that? Sounds like those things have regrouped. How about we make them regret it? Sure thing. On, darling. Activate sure that. These things never bother the wayward again. Where are you gonna come from? Wipe out the scorch. Gladly we'll do that. That's a nice feeling. Boom. Uh, can I get to you? Is that range? Well, uh, that's a little bit of range. Can't. Well, I can't actually charge it with more. Char oh, okay, so it's basically gonna grow. Oh, that's gonna make a big boom, I think. Yep. Okay, so you can recharge it. You know, several times. There's a lot of scorch coming right here. At least it charges pretty fast. Die, you can die, you can die. There's one more over here. You can also die. There's a lot of scorch coming. Oh, I totally missed you. I hit you now. Yeah, there is absolutely more coming from upstairs. Let's get you down. You are dead. Anymore? Yeah, definitely more. <laughs> Scorch Foreman. I like that. Get a little hat on. He goes down exactly the same as the others, so I don't think it helped you all that much. Yep, instance progress checkpointed. We are completed. With that, is it time to return to Duchess? It is. So let's just head out there. And we're back at the Wayward, and while getting back, the uh, charges that we had on the poly head was actually run dry, so we cannot use that anymore. Back at long last. But where's our girl? Well, I got her right in my pocket. All right. Half the gang reunited. Just have to find our gal, and we'll be all set. So, I can't talk to you? Ah, draw poly assault on the head. So, let me just go into weaponry. Poly assault on head. Oh, God. Poly? Whoa. That's lovely. You're not looking so great, darling. Duchess, I'm not feeling great. Friend, why, why don't you sit her down? Um, Jug should do the trick. The Jug. Okay, fine. This is real snug. That's not gonna do at all. Oh, Polly. This is all my fault. Solomon, no. Don't you dare. This is not... Uh, Duchess, tell me you emptied this out. <laughs> Did I... You know, I'm 80%. Duchess. It's alright, I, I can fix this. Well, that was a nice little twirl you did there, Sol. Oh. Oh. Solomon, you're going nowhere. Look, I'm sorry to even ask, but is there any chance you might be able to help us out here? I can make it worth your while. Find Polly this new body. 
I'll tell you everything I know about Crane and his treasure. Please say yes. Yeah, sure. But does that mean you know where the treasure is the whole time? Honey, it's complicated. But I promise. I will walk you through every gory detail if you do this for us. Gory? I'm right behind that. You know what? Where can I get a new body for Polly? Solomon, you had a spot in mind? Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's this old robotics dealer over in Summersville. Uh, Duncan and Duncan. The uh, the owners boarded it up, but it's possible to get back there if if you know where to push. Sounds like a good idea, but. I mean, I'm not going to be able to bring it back, so we got any tips there? Oh, don't you worry there. Saul, you still got one of those trackers? Uh, uh-huh. You tag the body with Saul's tracker here, I'll have my people collect it. Once it's safe. Well, I think that that sounds eminently fine. Sure. You are a lifesaver. Here, the tracker. Just plant that on Polly's new frame, and we'll handle it from there. And here, you'll need this to get into the place. Just leave it unlocked so we can come and get the body later. And make sure it's pristine. No damage, no reprogramming. Factory defaults only. I don't want anything going wrong in the transfer. And at the risk of sounding like a broken record, thank you. We'll all owe you big after this. You are welcome, Duchess. You know, I think that that's a pretty good start to this game. And we're going to leave it off with that. We might see some more of this along the line. We'll see. I haven't really decided on that yet. But, you know, I like this. I, I like what they've done so far. I mean, I haven't really seen that much of what else they have going on in this world. But, you know, just the fact that we do have dialogues yet we do have actual people in this world uh, it just makes such a huge difference i mean i don't really know if it if it helps anything with the multiplayer aspects of the game as i mentioned before so i think that's a little bit shady still i haven't seen much of uh, you know what we can or cannot do with uh, regards to for example base building just connecting with other people so i guess we'll see about that coming up in the future but you know for now this has been ghostmet gaming with me christopher thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time